So in this problem, we're told that each side of the square is increasing at a rate of 4 centimeters per second. And we're asked, at what rate is the area of the square increasing when the area of the square is 64 centimeters squared? So in order to solve this problem, what we first should know is, what is the area of the square formula? So we know that area is equal to s squared. That's the formula. And so what we're trying to find is the rate at which the area is increasing, which is basically dA over dt because it's the rate, it's area with respect to time. So that's what we're trying to find. So how can we find that? Well, if we take the derivative of both sides with respect to t, this side's gonna become dA dt. And so then we just need to differentiate this side and then we'll get our answer. So if we go ahead and do that, we'll get dA dt is equal to, and then we need to find the derivative of s squared with respect to t. And so if we go ahead and do that, uh, this is kind of like implicit differentiation. Because we're differentiating with respect to another variable, we're going to have to use the chain rule. So what we want to do is, if we differentiate this, it's going to be 2s, because we bring this down, and then it's going to become 1. But then we need to multiply it by ds dt, because uh, we're differentiating with respect to another variable. So the derivative with respect to t of s squared is 2s times ds dt. And so ds dt is basically uh, the rate at which um, the side of the square is increasing. And we see right here that they give that to us. So if this is 4, then we know that this is 2. All we need is s, and then that will give us uh, the rate at which the area of the square is increasing. So what is s? Well, they don't give, us, they don't give it to us explicitly. But they tell us that we're trying to find it at the moment when it's 64 centimeters squared. So if 64 is equal to s squared because the area is equal to s squared, we can find the side length at this moment. So it's 64. If we square root both sides, we'll get the square root of 64 is equal to s, or s is equal to 8. So we can plug in 8 for s. And so now we have dA dt is equal to 2 times 8 times 4. And so 2 times 8 is 16, times 4 is 64. So dA dt is going to be equal to 64. And so that's going to be the answer to this problem, 64 centimeters squared.